name is Amy Fangella. I'm a junior business administration and marketing major, and I've been a part of the CCM community for about three years. I was born and raised Catholic, and both my mom and dad were also raised Catholic. Um, I can remember my mom, she would always want us to like go to confession and do the sacraments and go to Mass every Sunday, of course. So it was clear that both her and my dad placed a very high importance on the Catholic faith, and so they decided together to send both me and my brother to 13 years work of Catholic school. At the time, I didn't really see the importance of it, so when I would go to daily Mass at school or go to the sacraments and stuff, I would kind of just go through the motions, do all the sitting down and standing up and singing the songs and doing the responses, but not really thinking about what I was saying and just kind of passively going through the motions. Senior year of high school, I was still in that same place and everything and just not really actively participating in the faith or really wanting to learn more about it at all. At that point is when God really decides to give you a major life change and that for me was um, November, my senior year of high school, my dad, he was pretty much perfectly healthy and God decided to call him home and he had passed away during the middle of my sleep. I was very much in a state of mourning and I was looking for some sort of hope to continue on with. On move-in day, I actually had an encounter with one of the focus missionaries from the Catholic Campus Ministry. Her name was Katrina. She was saying what she did at the Catholic Campus Ministry. She was there to lead Bible studies and, you know, interact with college students and bring them closer to Christ and into the community. And I kind of just nodded my head and was like, okay, that sounds cool. But I knew that the only thing I was really going to be doing was just keep going to Mass every Sunday because that was still what I was supposed to do. As I continued to go to Mass every Sunday, um, looking at all the people around me, I began to kind of tell that they were really in tune to the Mass and they were there for a reason and really getting something out of it like I had begun to kind of want to get too. And I was wondering like how they got to that point basically. This led me to start attending Katrina's Bible study every once in a while. I didn't really make a thing out of it. And I would be reading about these people from so long ago that I couldn't really relate to. And it wasn't really until Katrina shared her testimony and her story of what God had done in her life that I started to realize he was doing things for me too. Her mom had been fighting cancer for many years and Katrina had had this one experience where it really looked like they were going to lose her. Instead of doing what I would have done, just like holding her mom and saying goodbye, she held her mom in her arms and just started praying the rosary and praying a ton of Hail Marys. And that was really eye-opening to me because I didn't really know how someone could be in such a situation and still have such faith in that moment. I started trying out some of the more fun events that the Catholic Campus Ministry has, like retreats. And when I went on winter retreat, um, I went to confession for the first time in a pretty long time. And I was really feeling a lot of guilt about the commandment of honoring your father and mother because sometimes like teenage daughters and their dads like don't really get along. And I definitely felt like that a lot during high school and so I had a lot of guilt to act up about that and so when I was talking about it with the priest he said that when you celebrate the Mass and when you receive the Eucharist you can offer that up for someone on earth or in heaven and he told me that that was a way that I could feel closer to my dad and begin to like heal some of the things that happened while he was still here on earth that day really became a driving factor for making me actively want to go to Mass and participate in it and I actually had a reason to go now and a purpose for saying all those words that I thought were just 
really repetitive. It wasn't really just something I had to do for mom anymore. It was also something that I wanted to do. Advice that I would give to you if you're just really looking to find reason and purpose in the Mass and in the faith is that even when you're just sitting there, you're still growing. God is really patient and particular with us, and He kind of does things His way, and so at certain points, you'll look back and be able to see that growth take place, but don't really worry if you can't see it right now, because it is happening, and He knows exactly what